What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, I'm actually going to be talking to you about a bembe pattern slash exercise that you could try at home. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. the new subscribers welcome to a percussion life my name is eric perez some of you already know that by now but just had to say thank you man and i uh, do appreciate that you subscribed and i do hope that you enjoy these videos and if you haven't subscribed yet just hit that subscribe button hit that notification button find out whenever i'm uploading and yes we normally upload videos two times a week normally mondays and most definitely every thursday because on thursdays we do tutorials. And to all my day ones, man, I seriously appreciate you guys constantly sharing, commenting, to supporting this channel, man. We're almost, almost like at 10,000, man. And it's crazy. It's crazy how much this family has grown. And I just seriously appreciate each and every one of you. So today I want to show you just a basic bembe pattern slash exercise. The reason why I say it's an exercise is because normally this is not how you would want to set up. The way I'm set up is I have my conga, which is my main drum here. And then I have a quinto to my right. All right. To my right, not to my left, which is how I would normally have it or in front of me, like way in front of me, but I have it literally towards my right and uh, I would normally not set up this way this is just uncommon but since I'm more approaching this as an exercise I really want you to understand how this is just going to help one independence two just hand coordination man you're just going to learn how it is could kind of like to move around your set in different places kind of putting yourself in an awkward position. And normally you would be doing what I'm gonna do with my left hand with your right hand and then the opposite with your left hand. But you want to kind of like challenge yourself and challenge your weaknesses and make your weaknesses a lot stronger. So let me show you the pattern I'm talking about. to love it my goodness uh so let me show you what i am doing as you see it's an exercise you could use it as a beat you could use it in your bembe pattern but you know you would rarely set up this way so yeah so i start the pattern with one open with my left hand then after i do that open with my left hand i do a close slap with my left hand so to kind of hear that together it's going to sound like this After doing that close slap with my left hand, I'm going to do a close slap with my right hand on the quinto. To hear that together, it's going to sound like this. And to finish the whole pattern, yes, this is the closing section, okay? Very easy. After doing that close slap with your right hand, you're going to do an open again with your left hand on the conga. And then you're going to do two opens on the quinto with your right hand. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this.
Yes, fairly, fairly, fairly simple. All right, fairly simple, fairly, fairly simple. So to count it, uh, since it's a six, eight feel, I'm just gonna count to six so you could hear how it's gonna sound and where it's going to land, okay? So just to kind of give you the clue, the one is that first open tone, all right? So just to give you that clue. Crazy, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That is some fun, man. If you practice that, you'll get to understand some bembe up in here. You know what I'm saying? Some some of that bembe bembe. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys next week. We're about to have some fun. Oh, yeah. This is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy. All right, y'all.